Morning, everybody. This is Teacher Lucy here this morning, and um, today we're learning more about God's church, about being His people gathered together to learn more about Him and about serving Him in the world. So here we have our Open Gate Church. You'll see our families are here, the children are here, the grown-ups are here, Pastor Andrew is there beside the table, there's our music team there, we've got children and parents and grandparents at Open Gate, we've got little ones and teenagers at Open Gate as well. At Open Gate Church, we gather to pray and to worship and to share together and learn more about God. Well, last week we learned about prayer and that prayer is about talking to God. God always hears us when we pray all the time, everywhere, no matter what. God loves it when we pray to him. But we also know that God likes listening to us when we speak to him. And he likes to speak to us. We have God's words for us written down so that we can hear him. So let's begin our story here this morning. The church is God's people gathered together. We gather around the risen Lord Jesus, who is a king. We gather around his word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every time we gather together as the church, we always open the Bible. We open the Bible to read what it says, to listen to it being taught, and to think about what it means for our lives. But what is the Bible? The, the catechism we have says, the Bible is God's words written. God's word written. That's right. That's what the Bible is. God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, gave his words to his people of the Old Testament. Like Moses and Samuel and Isaiah. And to the New Testament apostles like Peter and John and Paul. The Bible says that God actually breathed his words into these people and they wrote down God's words so everyone could read them and know all about God. Old Testament and New Testament stories before Jesus, stories about Jesus and after Jesus ascended to heaven. Can you name one of your favorite stories from the Old Testament? Maybe you're thinking of Genesis, the beginning of creation, about when the world was first formed. 
Do you have a favorite story that you can think of from the New Testament? Maybe the time that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. What does the Catechism say about what is in the Old Testament? What is in the Old Testament? God's creation of all things, mankind's original disobedience, God's calling of his people, his law, his wisdom, his saving deeds, and the teaching of his prophets, the Old Testament points to Jesus. And what is in the New Testament? What is in the New Testament? Jesus' birth, life, ministry, death, resurrection, and ascension, the church's early ministry, the teaching of the apostles, and the revelation of Christ's eternal kingdom and the promise of his return. The Old Testament and the New Testament were gathered together into one book. We call that book the Bible. And that's what we have at Open Gate Church. We have a Bible that we read from every Sunday so we can hear from God. I wonder why the Bible is so important for Christians. In it, we meet Jesus, we learn the words of life, and we hear the call of God to turn from our sin and to live for him. I hope you'll be thinking about this lesson as well as reading from your Bibles this week. I hope you'll open them up and read them to your family, read them to a friend, and let them know about God's love for them. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.